Hi everyone, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Christmas tags that I made for this month. Now every month I will be posting Christmas tags that I've made on the 25th of the month. And I'm doing this to use some of my stash up to kind of get in there and make some Christmas items early on before you know it. It'll be the holiday season, and I just thought I would get a jump start by making some tags each month. I'll also be making some Christmas cards. You'll see some of those throughout the month as well, but tags will always be on the 25th. So this month, I decided to make some very simple tags. I used one 6x6 six six pad, and that was the Recollections Christmas Farmhouse and some recollection poinsettias and I used the Tim Holtz Sizzix framelit die and this is the tag the die that I used to cut out the paper. So I'll do a quick flip through of the paper pad so you can see some of the designs. This is a really pretty uh, six by six pad. I like the colors and I used some of the papers and then some of the cut-aparts. So it's it's kind of funny how when you start going through your 6x6 pads, you realize how easy it is to put together cards or tags because of these cut-aparts. They're especially nice on tags. They're just the right size. Um, sometimes they're a little bit small for cards, but um, they're great for tags, so I use some of those. Here's a like forest green and black check. And then of course these um, you could cut and put on a card. So that is the Christmas Farmhouse by Recollections. And here's some of the tags that I made. Now again, I stayed on the pretty simple side. I just used the paper from the collection, the cut aparts, some of those poinsettias and some seam binding ribbon. I really do love seam binding ribbon just because when you tie it, it looks very rustic, particularly on tags, and it doesn't always make a perfect bow, but I, I kind of like that look. So this is the first one. There's another one of the tags. I just added a little bit of green paper just to frame that cut apart. Here's some glitter scrap that I had in my stash. And these are this is not a double-sided paper pad, so it, since it's white on the back, it's very easy to address the tag. And here is the last one. So those are my Christmas tags for this month. I would love it if you would like to join me. Feel free to leave me a comment below if you're making some Christmas tags. And if you would like to join in on the 25th, then be sure to uh, leave me your link so I can check out your video as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.